So if you clicked on this video, you already know why you're here. So let's get started. So first thing you want to do is find your server, obviously server settings, and then go down to roles. And we're going to set up a role for what you want your live now to be. So in my instance, I created brackets and typed live now, and I made it like this kind of reddish color that'll show up. You can do it any way you want. You can name it anything you want, just anything that's going to indicate what it is as far as going live. After you get that set up, one of the first things you want to do, you want to display the role members separately from online members because that's what's going to have it show up in the right hand side. After you do that, what we're going to do is go to yagpdb.xyz and I'll put a link to this in the description. We'll go to the control panel. You'll probably have to grant it access to log in and um, add your Discord server. Go ahead and click that now. So when prompted to allow access to server, go ahead and allow it to join your server. You may have to select your server right here. This is one we're going to work with. So next we're going to go to notifications and feeds. Streaming. And this is where we'll set up. We'll enable and we'll go here. The announcement channel. I have that disabled. I know a lot of people have announcement channels, but I just know when I join a discord, first thing I do is mute that. I mean, there's very few people I know that actually pay attention to, you know, if there's a channel that's constantly giving you notifications like that, I think it's pretty useless, but you can set that up here if you want. Announcement message and again, but we're not going to mess with any of that for this setup. So the currently streaming role, this is where we'll select a drop down and we'll select whatever role you just created for the live now role. After that, you're done. You'll save stream settings and that's it. So your bot should already be in your discord. So what you'll do is you go back to your server settings roles. And after it shows up with this YAG role, there's two things you want to do. You want to move, you want to click and drag, move whatever your live role is as high to the top as you can. Slam it way up there. Now for the bot to manage roles, it has to be above the roles that it's going to manage. So you just want to go ahead and drag that bot itself all the way up to the top. And after you've done that, you're set. That's all there is to it. So I don't have anybody on right now. But here's a preview of um, what it'll look like. So you'll have anybody that ends up with a purple live status icon. It's going to automatically add this role will show up. The only reason it doesn't show up now because nobody's online right now. And then you'll have all your users that are currently live under that one section at the very top. You can click on them and click watch. I've, I'm using this one for an example because this person's live on YouTube. So this does work with both Twitch and YouTube. I don't, I don't know when exactly discord added YouTube live support. I guess they've had it for a while. I just noticed that the other day. I thought it was pretty neat. So it doesn't matter if you Twitch, you do whatever. And what it does is it detects it. Anybody that has that live streaming purple icon, the bot will see uh, temporarily add them this role for the duration that they're live. And whenever they go offline, it'll remove the role and then they'll drop down. So it has really helped us a ton as far as our community getting engaged with others in our community that stream. We're seeing more, more. I know I'm clicking in the streams more because whenever we just had a stream channel, I mean, I never clicked in there. Nobody really clicks in there. So whenever I'm in my discord, I'm like, you know what? I'll lurk somebody. Now all I have to do is just look to the right hand side, look to the user list. And at the top, you'll see who's live right now. So I hope this is something that's been helpful to you. I think it's a great feature. I love it. I think it'll help you out a whole lot. Seriously, seriously think about the, the going live channel section of that. I really just don't recommend that. It's not going to hurt to have it, but I really prefer the 
user list on the right. And I think your users will too. Thanks.